Uh, sticking with Eevees for a second, we got new footage of the app Terra Soul. Solar-powered electric vehicle with 1,000-mile range. I, I mean, we didn't know if this thing was going to happen. You saw at CES, I think there were clips, or no, they were driving one or, or around. This is wild, like super lightweight, three-wheel vehicle. Elon said he'd never do anything like this. I wouldn't want to see the thing in a crash test, mm. but... I mean, that's a big but, but if you just push that to the side for a moment, if you go super lightweight with it, and it, it's sort of like somewhere between a car and a bike, and you cover it in solar panels, you get these tremendous numbers in there. You make it super lightweight. I mean, can you even imagine a thousand miles and you're getting a significant charge off the solar? That's, I mean, just from a technical perspective. Uh, sure, yeah. No? I mean, that's a dream. I mean, it looks like it's from the Jetsons. It looks super futuristic. It's got the big display. So you're not lacking on the inside. I'm I'm a little scared on the freeway. I'll give you yeah. that. But like look, she, picture. she got the surfboard, which you were calling for. Uh-huh. She got the Yeti cooler in there. That's a high-end cooler. Like stuff stay your ice will stay in there for days at a time. Uh-huh. So she's prepared to go to the beach and takes it to the beach. Doesn't worry about rain. She got a thousand miles. She's having a party. Doesn't worry about rain. She says, I'm going to go. And look, she looks over here at her display and she goes, I'm not even done with this day. I'm about to travel to the next beach. Is what happens in the clip. Mm. And she's flying on the freeway and you're like, oh, I'm going to go explore the next beach. Oh, no. Let's go to the next beach. <laughs> oh, okay. It's three beaches in one day. And then they pop the tent at the back oh cool and now you're interested will did i just sell you another car yeah i want this one no you can't have that one no this one's not ready to go i know you talked to the company i would love to see it in the studio that would be incredible to see this thing yeah there's uh, a there's a base model that's not going to do a thousand miles by the way for those in those in uh metric a th uh, 16 1600 kilometers di uh, range get out of town i mean some wild wild stuff and then as far as pricing goes starting at 25,900 for the 250 mile version and the 1000 mile version is 44,900 so it's kind of expensive for what it is uh -huh. but man that's you pull that you take that thing on the road i'm not sure you can turn more heads than that if you were driving that everybody's got to ask you what that's about that which could be a problem as well uh huh yeah you got to talk to everyone. But if they can pull it off, wow. This is amazing. It's it's very cool. But do you feel like you have to see the crash test before you feel confident? Yes. Absolutely. And it looks so lightweight, that thing. Well, maybe around town, though. I don't know. We'll see. Know. I'm just, I'm a sucker for futuristic things. Yeah. You know? And if they're all like this, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad. To see them all on the highway, you would feel comfortable driving one, right? Until you saw the 18-wheeler. Yeah, oh. no 18-wheelers. Just uh, <laughs> all of these.